Joseph leads Egypt during the good years of harvest by storing up huge quantities of grain like sands of the sea so that they would be ready not only for their own country's needs but for the nations and the generations to come. For some reason, even before this passage came up, I've been thinking a lot about someone who's a saint in the pilgrim story who passed away in April of 2015. Does anybody remember a saint named Don O'Hara? I have a slide for Don. So Don O'Hara loved God. He loved pilgrim. He loved culture. He loved antiques. He loved music. He loved travel. And he loved coming to church at Pilgrim. When he got a little more feeble and couldn't come on his own, he reached out to someone who was older than him, named Sheridan Ostrander, along with his wife, who would pick up Don O'Hara at the senior public housing where he lived and bring him to church. When he got into his last hours of life, uh, Sheridan called me and the three of us headed to St. Joseph Hospital on Lakeshore Drive. And Millie, Sheridan, and I had the privilege of praying with Don as he passed. We were holding his hand and singing the hymn, Abide With Me. It was so powerful. It was sad, but the Holy Spirit just filled the room and I could feel Jesus' embrace just holding Don and ushering him in to the party that is all the saints in light. A few weeks go by, and we got a big surprise. Now, some of you know what I'm about to say. We got a letter from the estate of Don O'Hara. This guy did not present as wealthy. Amen? Very humble guy. Don O'Hara has bequeathed $50,000 to Pilgrim Lutheran Church and School. And this was at a time in which our enrollment was a little lower, and we had been struggling to raise money to renovate the back lot, otherwise known as our playground and also our makeshift parking lot on weekends. And we needed about $25,000. So the Congregational Council voted to use $25,000 of that gift at a time in which ministry was ebbing more than flowing to be able to invest in the renovation of the back lot. And then the wisdom of the scripture continued to be reflected in Pilgrim's leadership in that we at that point decided, and it ended up being part of our current bylaws, that any large estate gift would be taken from, 25% uh, would be taken from that gift to invest into the long term through the church endowment, and then 25% would be given into the school endowment. Because when there's a generous gift, we want to make sure that generosity continues to flow when it may be, may be needed for mission. So $12,500 went to the church endowment from the O'Hara gift, and 12500 went to the school endowment. And so it was this wonderful moment in which Pilgrim, through Don O'Hara's generosity, was able to steward a good season, a generous gift, into the ongoing planning of our community. Someone say amen. amen. And so it's a wonderful reflection for us to think about how we can steward the generosity of the saints as we look forward to next Sunday's Commitment Sunday and to how we do our estate planning as individual households to be able to bless over and over again the wonderful ministry of Pilgrim and how God is using Pilgrim to uh, further God's love and reign in this world.